edition of uh, What's Up with Ken Ives. Uh, in this podcast, I wanted to show you guys around uh, some of the features from uh, 012 and as well highlight some of the features coming up in uh, 013. Uh, before I start, however, I would like to give a huge shout out to Norbert Zebra, Andrew Ross, James Smith, and Daniel Koopmans. Uh, you know, they've been all sponsoring uh, K9s. Uh, via GitHub sponsors, so very much appreciated and certainly duly noted. So thank you so much, guys, uh, for your effort on that respect. All right, so let's take a spin at K9 here, uh, local. Again, this is not released yet. Uh, so here I'm connecting to uh, my local Minikube cluster, and likewise I can connect to other clusters. So let's say I have uh, an Azure uh, sample cluster here. I can connect to this guy and I get, you know, basically a different look and feel, right? So this theme here is uh, something that was contributed by uh, Josh Simmons. Uh, so thank you so much, Josh, for the Dracula uh, theme. Uh, very cool and very appreciated. Uh, this will be featured in the release notes as well as on the repo under the skins uh, directory. So if you want to use uh, Josh's uh, skin, skin, you can totally do that uh, in the next release. Um, likewise, I can you know switch out to uh, my uh, GKE cluster and basically you know look again at paths in that way. So another feature that was available uh, in 012 was the ability to define hard keys for your favorite resources. So instead of having to navigate to the command mode and typing you know uh, the resource you know by uh, short name or full name or singular plural and so forth, you can actually define a single key that basically allows you to cruise your cluster uh, pretty quickly and efficiently uh, using that key. I will show you the mechanics of that uh, coming up, uh, but for now, you know, suffice to say that uh, this is available in 012. Um, so if I was to switch back to my Minikube cluster here, because I'm going to do things local here for a bit, uh, and let's say I have a deployment here available, so let me go ahead and apply uh, apply this deployment here called uh, Nginx PVC, I think. Uh, so that guy is coming up, and that's great. So so far in K9, we've been pretty much you know univertical, you know, moving from one resource to another, right? So I'd like to introduce in 013 something that I call X-ray views. And X-ray views allow you to actually look at uh, you know specific resources in a little bit of a different angle. So here, if I was to X-ray on deployments, I will see that you know currently my deployment is not happy for Nginx PV. There's a, a toast uh, situation here, and basically I can see that uh, the number of replicas you know that the deployment ex expect. Uh, is not matching what uh, you know what's currently running here, and the issue here is on the pod. So if I went and hit D for describe on that pod, we will see that there is indeed a problem uh, with the image, right? So again, you know nothing fantastic here. It just shows you uh, exactly what the table view used to show you for deployments or pod in terms of you know something going on with uh, with your resource. However, you know, in X-ray mode, you actually get to see uh, some of the other resource dependencies on that deployment, right? So in this case here, we know that this pod uh, has a container in it that happens to reference a config map, uh, probably via some environment variable or ENVs from uh, type deal, where basically we know we have a relationship here. And once again, I can click enter to basically navigate directly to that config map and see what that config map is about, right? I can hit escape here to go back to my X-ray view and I can keep cruising the uh, dependencies graph. So here I have uh, also another dependency probably mounted as a volume on this uh, pod, uh, something that is a person volume claim called web. And likewise, you know, I've got a service account that is currently auto-mounted. So I've got, you know, a service account token enabled on that particular pod uh, via that uh, a service account token. So that service account references uh, different resources, uh, a Docker image pool secret, a regular secret, and then that service account secret as well. 
So this gives you kind of a uh, you know deeper view into uh, a given resource and its dependencies in a cluster, right? The other piece of information that we are available here for you is noticing that this secret is actually auto-mounted, right? So uh, whether the service account auto-mounted it by default or you actually went in and overrode uh, that auto-mount uh, in your pod specification uh, that would be highlighted here. So that's kind of cool. And again, you know, in that X-ray mode view, I can pre I press the uh, space bar to basically uh, you know collapse or expand uh, a given node and as well I can use X to basically collapse everything and see a namespace view of where my deployments resides on that cluster or expand again and see the whole thing right so right now I can see it because it's right there in front of me that this uh, deployment is toast but we can also uh, filter on toast and basically seeing you know uh, all the deployments that are currently toast on the cluster well, that's kind of handy right so let's try to fix this so if i went in and edited my uh, uh, resource again so uh, let's see um, if i went in and i think it's the image here that has the wrong specification so if i updated this guy and we applied uh, on the cluster hopefully you know that's actually going to resolve and we're going to be happy so we're no longer in the toast mode uh, so i should be able to escape out of this and we can see that now this pod uh, you know this deployment nginx pv and these pods are all in a happy state right so uh, again some of the features that we have in the other view the table view are available here in X-Ray, so I can do a uh, fuzzy filter on NGINX, and it'll show me that. I can as well do a crosscut, so if I wanted to do a uh, dash L app equal NGINX dot PV for a label filter, now I get actually to see all the deployments related to perhaps an application and getting a crosscut at an application level versus you know a regular resource uh, one at a time. So that's kind of handy and kind of useful. Uh, so now that I have this uh, in a happy state, uh, let me back out here. And let's say, for example, somebody went in and, you know, not directly or indirectly deleted uh, this config map that this part depended on, right? So now we're getting into another status, uh, which is a reference integrity issue, where now basically we can uh, go a little bit deeper and assert that the references to those resources are indeed in place in the cluster, right? So for example, in this case right now, if somebody was to restart the deployment or cycle that pod, uh, we will be in no man's land and the application would be disrupted because this, this, this deployment could not continue uh, based on the current settings in the cluster. So this view now allows you to basically get into uh, a mode where you can see not only the dependencies of one resource on another, but also uh, doing a little bit of a referential integrity. So this is a similar feature that I have available in my other project called PowPy, which is a Kubernetes cluster sanitizer that basically goes much deeper in that realm. But in this view, I figured out I'll, I'll get some of that uh, knowledge uh, and, and uh, resurface it uh, us using that X-ray uh, view. So uh, that's coming up here. And actually I've got uh, different uh, you know, uh, resources. So again, here, if I was to just reapply here, I only need to recreate uh, that config map and I will be again in a happy state, right? So state is updating as you would expect, just like in the table view. Um, the other thing that I have available here, and we can look at, you know, my currently defined uh, hotkeys, actually have X-ray available on different keys as well. So let's, for example, look at uh, Shift 5 that will show me a stateful set X-ray that works exactly like the deployment X-ray view, as well as, uh, you know, Shift 6 X-ray on the demand set so that I can look at uh, these at top level uh, manager resources for uh, you know all of those parts right so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you so before I close this 
uh, let me show you the mechanic of the hotkey so if I navigate it to my canines home directory under uh, hotkeys YAML I basically have uh, you know those specifications so just straight up views uh, with the regular commands and those can be uh, command aliases or for uh, resource reference as well as defining you know the x-ray uh, vision on uh, you know specific resources that I just demoed here so anyway I hope you guys uh, will dig this feature I think it's very handy I think the ability to cross cut across uh, ref, uh, various uh, resources is useful as well as uh, you know getting some refresh integrity in the cluster and checks there I think is also super useful so anyway thank you very much for your time and support and I'll see you guys on the next episode thank you